Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my Solo Ascendant Challenge. We're in week 23 and this is Chimerian Garrison. There is timestamps in the description that will take you straight to the Corrupted Egg section. So if, you've, if you're if you pretty comfortable with the run and you're not interested in listening to the ramblings of a madman, jump straight to there. For all the rest of you guys, I hope you're having a lovely day. <laughs> this 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 one's quite quite a simple one, I think. A lot of people have an issue with the jumping at the end. You can... I've got Celestial Nighthawk on because I'm running Golden Gun. I'm running the the Precision, not the Six Shot. I'm running the other one. I think it's Bolton, Tree of the Subclass. Uh, Celestial Nighthawk will give us one massive uh, shot, which should almost kill him. You can you can have Stompies on, and I will show you. There's a, there's a place just before the end. It's, it's very safe. You're in no danger. You can just stop there, change to your boots, uh, to your helmet from the boots, and it's all good. But I don't really use Stompies for many things. I used them for my Whisper solos because it just allowed me to do jumps I had no hope of doing. So that I, I did use it for that. But nine times out of ten, I won't use Stompies. And my background is actually in platformers. I never played a shooting game till Modern Warfare, I think, the first one. Uh... So, but I'd always play platformer. So I've always found that if you get into a rhythm with the jumps, if you get into a rhythm with the movement, it's it's normally you can just keep going, you know. And that that's just the way it's always been for me. Anyway, you can time your jumps and your movement and just be very fluid with it. Instead of oh, I think when you start hesitating with jumps and movement, that's when you make the biggest amount of mistakes. Uh. In case I don't get time at the end, guys, I've actually made 200k videos. I, I done a Pyramidium one last week, and it was fun, but it was nowhere near as much fun as I had on this one. This one's quite cool, so check that out. I've got the Tree of Probabilities high score as well on the Warlock. Uh, and they will be the last two videos for me this week. These three videos, that will be it. I'll try and get them all up for tomorrow because... On Thursday, my beautiful partner goes into hospital to have our baby. So, for the rest of the week, I'm just going to want to spend some time with my my newborn son. So, we'll be back at it again next week. But uh, I'm not going to leave you guys without anything to watch. God forbid. i got to make sure you guys have got the very reason why you came to the channel. And for anybody that's watching the videos that hasn't come to the channel, I hope you do come to the channel. <laughs> so... That last platform with the light on it, th those rock platforms, they don't move. The rest of them turn. So you can, on that last rock platform with a bolt, with a lamp on it, you can change from your select from your stone piece to your celestial. Jump on the platform, pop your super. Uh, um, two mistakes I made there was the first one. It wasn't a mistake. The 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 grenade bounced off the wall and never actually done anything. And I tried to change to my heavy, it just come right back onto my primary, or a good chance I'd have killed them in one go. And I think this is time trail time, to be fair, three minutes. So that's the run, very, very simple. And following following this, you probably would get the time trail. What I'd done for the Corrupted Egg section, what I'd done for this section, <clears throat> was I came all the way back. You'll see the portal lit up. There's the first egg. This is right from the start, but because we've already been through it, there's no ads. So you, all you're worried about is getting the eggs. You can see the portal just in the distance. And in a lot of people's videos, I guess, the egg I get second is actually the egg they would get third. Because you don't have to go back up to the portal to get the third egg. So there's the third egg right there. I'm a little bit out of range here. I could actually have got, and I'll, sh I'll point it out in the video, if you've got the lore but you haven't got the eggs, the lore is a bit further on. So it wasn't a big deal, but you can actually get all three eggs in the first, what, 20 seconds of this? So I'll point out the egg that I, I don't miss it, I just run a wee bit further up to get it. So the third, the second egg, which is... Is actually the third egg, but the second egg we're going to get is just around the corner. You'll see the portal. The portal is still there. I didn't jump through the portal. I came back. And there's the second egg. 
and you just caught sight of, you can just about as we go around here the third egg is it's above you it's, it's underneath a structure and you can just about see it as we're going around here there it is top left of the screen you can get it from there but i go around here it's no big deal because i've got i'm sure I'm, we're going for the lore as well but there it is right there you could have got it from further back that's the three eggs that was my last three eggs actually i got the harbingers whatever it's called the taken sparrow looks pretty cool and i'm happy to have it i just need the ship now from shattered throne and i will have curse breaker very happy with that so for the lore you get to st junction you turn left and it's all the way at the end i've already collected it so it won't be in the video but the location is i'm going to show exactly where it is and that's the video guys thank you very much for your viewership i hope you check out the 100 k's the pyramidium especially is a lot of fun thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video